Hello, Leos. This is Queen Amunra coming to you with your general reading, Leos. Happy Motivational Monday. You may be watching this video on Sunday, but the video is for the 19th of February through the 19th of March. Leos, let's do it. We are officially in Pisces season at the time of filming. So just want to let you all know, heads up, you know, if you all have Pisces in your birth chart, you are more than welcome to uh, join us in the giveaways that we're doing for Pisces season. So let's get into it, Leos. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I've already prayed over your cards. Let's see what your cards have to say. What's in your cards for you? What's coming up? We know by now that Motivational Monday videos are an extension of Sunday's video. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. All right, Leos, let's do it. I'm talking to you wherever Leo is in your birth chart, including if Leo is your MC or IC. So there could be a Virgo on your mind, or you could have Virgo in your birth chart. But somebody is in hermit mode, meticulously going through things in their mind. So, and um, just kind of sort of, you know, the, the root of it is, you know, just like, uh, trying to wait for some dust to settle. Here we have the, the Queen of Cups and doing some things to nurture your spirit right about now. Here we have the Ace of Wands. We also have the Seven of Wands. We have the Three of Wands. And then also the Queen of Wands, right? So that's a lot of fire. A lot of fire, a lot of fire, a lot of fire. And of course, obviously, your fire sign. So there could be another fire energy involved. That's what I'm saying. Like, you know, the leading card here in your minor arcana would be water energy. Something possibly having to do with sensuality, sexuality, some kind of something was burning into your joy, burning into your uh, healthy range of emotions, um, something burning into your, um, your um, creativity or what you may have created with someone. Uh, maybe you created some kind of a, you know, like a, a bridge with someone. Maybe you have something in common with someone, right? And now that the bridge is burned or burned out, burn does not always mean that someone blow torch you. It could have let something fizzle out, right? And now you're just kind of sort of, you know, in hermit mode, just kind of letting source make it make sense. The hermit card is a ninth card in tarot. Nine is the death rebirth number. So something could have burned you out, stretched you out, whatever it was. But I definitely see you giving yourself a healthy dose of compassion. The moon, I believe, is in Cancer when you watch the video. Cancer is the mother of the zodiac. And so this is how you learn how to reconnect with whatever fills you up emotionally, what fills you up. Um, and that's what I'm saying for you all, you know, so far. I do see your um, attitude really determining your altitude as you continue to move forward. I definitely see somebody taking a leap of faith into being booked and busy and not burdened by, burden, excuse me, by whatever it is that you're leaving behind. Just leave whatever you need to leave behind, like just the burnout, the confusion. That's what you're leaving behind. Toss that into a burning bowl. Confusion, um, low self-esteem calling people a narcissist like if you got to get to a point of calling somebody a narcissist it's probably a good idea for you to just move on if you feel like you know you've been overthinking something to a point of you still confused and you burned out and don't understand something it's time to leave it behind for real like this this is source is saying you've been praying on um you, you excuse me you've been praying for something and at a point somebody said okay now it's time for you to sit down somewhere and be in meditation mode so that source kit this is in receiving mode so you want to receive meticulously what's what right so focus the universe is in your favor the universe is trying to give you some answers to some things trying to give you some answers here we have the ten of cups I definitely see you moving forward towards a um, creative group of energies, right? Where somebody feels safe, you feel inspired around those those creatives. So you got a lot of ideas that, like, window of opportunity is wide open for somebody to start creating something, like whether you have business or whatever. So what will be will be. Whatever you're releasing, leave it in the past. Source is saying just leave the fear the anxiety as best as you can right but in the meantime you can have some compassion for yourself and say i need to maybe maybe have a spa day maybe something that is going to pour some water on 
this uh, this fire here, kind of calm it down a little bit. Here we also have the Ten of Swords. Somebody may have felt like you betrayed them or you may have felt like they betrayed you. But what's going to stop is for you to stop betraying yourself. This if this is you. You become your own Judas when you realize how much hurt and pain you've gone through and you stand, you're standing around being your own Judas, sitting and looking at yourself hurting instead of getting something to clean off these sword wounds right here. So that's what I see you bearing around. So here we have the, the two of swords, right? So a source is saying, look, if it's disrupting your peace and you still talking about it, you're actually invoking a spirit here. This is like somebody putting a spell on themselves. So if you feel like I'm still talking about how somebody just left you, you know, hurt or left you some kind of way, or they're saying you left them some kind of way. Remember, we don't have control over other people's universe, their thought, right? Sources are saying all you have control over is yourself, of your way of thinking of self. So sources are saying stop betraying yourself, right? This is where you nurture yourself, right? And being in spaces where you feel like your soul is being nurtured of self right so ace of wands your third eye is open now somebody's third eye is open and so is another situation is third eye is open um here we have the princess of swords here um, i see somebody's gonna feel a lot better you know here we have the queen of wands so it's you and um You and somebody, whoever this ten of coins is like ten of um, excuse me ten of excuse me ten of uh, cups. So I feel like you and somebody are going to feel a whole uh, somebody that's in that's a part of your creative circle. It could be your spouse, it can be your love interest, it could be a soulmate, good friend, whatever it is, whoever it is. I feel like um, you know they are going to help to keep you inspired, like keep your vibrations high if possible, you know, if again, but you gotta, you gotta be in receiving mode of compassion that people are trying to give to you. And, um, cause I, I see it's way too much fire here, right? Way too much fire here. And somebody is at a point of burnout at this point. So, so it's just say you don't have to be at a point of burnout, get away from energies that's causing, you the burnout that's why somebody could be in in mode where they just kind of just kind of feeling like you're in hermit mode every time somebody looks back here we have the five of swords right here um source has been trying to tell somebody to move on get away from two types of energies that's that's why it's causing burnout now because either somebody said that you um betrayed them to some degree or you or vice versa. Let me just say it that way. Like it could have been one way or the other, right? Sources say somebody needs to be forward facing because if you believe somebody betrayed them or they believe that you betrayed them or right, you know what I'm saying? Like all the other way around sources saying somebody's going to have to get their ego out of the way and say, okay, let me move forward. But the problem sometimes it depends on what type of betrayal somebody may feel like. Somebody may be like, oh, I'm not letting them get away with whatever, right? All I can tell you is not don't let the tower fall on you. Source is saying to you in your praying, you know, surround yourself with energies that are trying to help pour back into you in a healthy way and close out this cycle of feeling like you felt foolish um, you know, uh, I see you feeling changed. I see you feeling liberated and free, but sources saying to you, everything is fine. These are the same cards right here. These are the, these are the same two cards as two different, you know, illustrators, but these are the same cards, right? Sources saying everything is fine. Stop betraying yourself. Your head and heart shouldn't be at war with an energy. You feel like, um, you feel like may have betrayed you. Somebody has to really learn what karma, how car karma truly works. Um, here we have nine of wands. You're on the other side of a long and arduous journey that source has been trying to tell somebody to move on from for a long time. It could be a water sign that somebody is saying move on from, uh, cancer, Pisces or Scorpio, but whatever it is, source is saying for you, turn off the water faucet. It's time to be forward facing. But somebody is still in this space right here. 
keep looking back, keep replaying something over and over and over again. I can't move. I can't. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what lies ahead. What lies ahead is whatever you speak into existence. That's what lies ahead. But as long as somebody is like this, and Source keeps telling you two and two and five is seven. Source is the one that's telling you to move forward. Take off the blindfolds. See the blessings in front of you. Some people can't. Some people can't see the blessings in front of them until the blessings cut you out of their life. Then it's, oh my God. So, um, so I definitely, I definitely, um, see somebody getting focused and, have, and pouring, you know, doing something that's going to help take your mind off some things. There it is again. Forward facing. There's that number two again. Two means that peace is paramount. If you say that you felt like you couldn't see someone disrupting your peace, or whatever sources say you need to be just like this forward facing right so it's two situations that somebody's been praying for is is coming you know two blessings is coming but again it's not dependent on okay god has to show you or source has to show you or the creator or spirit has to show you or prove to you you know that that source is source before somebody starts trusting like a source told you leave move on from something before and you asking for something else. So let me say for instance, if source is saying, you know, leave that friend behind or cut that ex off, right? And you're saying, Well, I I, I mean I'll cut them off when, when I you know, after I get my raise at work or I'll cut them off after um after I see them hurt or after I see them betrayed just like they betrayed me. Source is like, uh, you are not God's God. <laughs> So that's going to be very humbling for somebody. Like I said, so it's the same. Look, looking at your cards here, you burning yourself out. When, if you prayed about it, leave it there. Leave it at the altar. But yeah, so that's what Source is trying to tell somebody. is like, if you trust Source, trust Source. Trust Source completely. Right? But right now, somebody is like, uh, you know, here we have the judgment card. Right? So, um... Judgment is about breaking generation. It's, uh, it's attached to Pluto. Pluto is the um, is the is a generational planet. So, so it wants you to hang in there. Don't go into escapism. This is attached to Neptune. This is attached to Pluto, right? And uh, these are generational planets. So it's saying you're breaking generational cycles, chains, and curses. Now, that's where the focus should be. That is exact exactly where the focus should be. Here we have Queen of Cups. So sources sit, uh, surround you around people who are very compassionate, but you're going to have to be the, the person that put the manhole cover over the past. You're going to have to be the person because the moment your mind starts going back down to ideas of this and ideas of that, it's going to take you down to a dark place emotionally. And everybody at this table sitting here don't want to go down to that dark place. They came with a bunch of creative ideas. They came with some excitement and joy. They left all of their other issues outside the door. They just trying to have some fun and replenish their emotions too. So that's what Source is trying to help somebody to do is when you're around people who are, they coming together with a lot of creative ideas. And if you're the only one that's sitting at the table that kind of sort of seems burned out or stressed out, that's an energy. It it come, it makes you look like it comes across. Just so you know, uh, Leo is a, uh, people are like okay, they all they need all the attention on them, right? And I know that's not how you all are, Leos, but that's how to come across because of so much fire here. It's like okay, they burning us out now. We all got to stop our laughter and talking, and now we got to figure out what's going on to pour into, you know, pour into a situation when you could pour into yourself before you get to the table. You know, before you can get to before you get to the table. So here we have Oracle. Um, spirits of other worlds tell me tales of the unknown. Tell me tales of the forbidden. Number twenty eight. Two and eight is ten. Ten is the number for instant manifestation. So yeah, that's the source is trying to get somebody to do is not bring burnout to people who are trying to pour into your life. You know, that's could that could be a spouse, that could be, you know, significant other, partner, whomever, business partner, love interest, or organization that you belong to. So it's like don't be the Debbie Downer or David Downer in the group. 
But it's time to start dating again. If you're if you're if you're single and you want to start, you you know, it's time for you to start dating again. Move on. If somebody is in that much confusion, or if you're with your person, it's time to start dating your person again. Like meaning, like if you're with if you're married, like now is the time to hey, let me pour into my person. I got all this fire going on, you know. It's a, what's the song by Tina Marie? Fire and desire. What? But that's what I'm seeing. Like for somebody, I, I I feel like you know somebody is like you know it's time to if you're single, it's start it's time to start mingling again. You know if you feel that confused about something, you haven't picked up a phone or, or whatever, or you haven't sent out a text message or whatever to get some answers or some clarity on some things. Uh, or if, if it's, if you're with your person and an ex is causing the problem, so it's just like, okay, it's time to really turn up the heat in your current relationship. Or if you are single and desire to remain single, now it's time to, okay, I need to leave some bridges burn of confusion and I need to go out and have a great time. I don't need to talk about it. I don't need to give any air to it because so it's been telling somebody to move on from something for a long time. So, um, Yeah. But that's what I that's what I see for you all, um, Leos. Like I said, happy motivational Monday. You know, you don't want to let something from the past burn your weekends out. Like it's going this, this year. We're still in the year of wealth, right? Something burning through. You know, we're about to come up on March. We're not that we're not that far off from March. So, and this is the year of wealth. But there it is, right there. So number ten came out twenty eight. Two and eight is ten. Here's ten again. So it's just further re reiterating, fertilizing. Food is not the only thing that nourishes you, dear one. Be mindful of what you feed your soul. That's right, and what you're feeding other people's souls. Sources say, hey. It, I mean, it may be a good idea if you'd be going around a group of people, you know, go get a manicure, pedicure, go get a massage, something that's going to kind of work out the kinks, go work out anything before you go around other groups of people that's trying to pour into you. So that doesn't become the conversation. What's burning me out? What's stressing me out? Right. So, um, and, um, yeah, that's what I'm seeing for someone. I feel like even if it's family members, because the people at the table could also be family members. Try not to go around family functions. You know, Debbie Downer, whoa, come through the front door, knuckles dragging, bottom lip hanging. You know, everybody's like, oh, my God, we were just laughing and talking, playing bed with the spade. We was having a good time, you know, um, playing chess and checkers. <laughs> the food was being passed around. All of that. And here, oh, gosh, the whole temperature changed. What happened? What's going on? You know, so source is saying somebody source is trying to help you to learn how to um, trying to help somebody learn how to um, pour into yourself before you before you bring that to the table. Right. So it's time to reframe. This is happening for me, not to me. It's happening for me, not to me. Yes. Yeah, so is trying to tell somebody it, it, this is, um, you know, to learn how to be in divine feminine energy, like really being in receiving mode. Like really learning how to be your own knight in shining armor. So you can get to the card table and win us some money. No, I'm just kidding. But you know what I'm saying? Like, um, that's what I'm that's that's what I'm seeing for you all, Leos. Um, so here we have my future is an ideal projection of what I envision now. That's how what you envision now. So your future could be a week from now, like five minutes after you watch the video is your future. A minute, a moment after is the future, right? So what, what are you what are you projecting into your own future, right? You know the old projectors, the old um, the real old ones. You know, well never mind. But you know what I'm talking about. Like they they put that little that film <laughs> on on a machine and they project it onto the wall. Like what are you putting on that? What are, what film are you putting on that machine? Right? You turn that light on and it projects onto it projects onto the wall. Like source is saying to you, what what are you projecting into your own future? Somebody is breathing life into something that you know could be a nightmare if that's what you or projecting you know what are you operating in fear or are you operating in faith right so that's what i'm seeing for you um yeah so let me see do i have any other let's see what else we got um 
And don't y'all call me about playing cards either, because, uh huh. Mm mm. Nope. <laughs> I'm just reading the cards. I'm just reading the cards. But that's what I have for you all. Um, that's what I have for you all, Leos. Let me see. Let's pull two more cards and we're going to go ahead and close this out. Two more cards and we're going to go ahead and close this out. Yeah, 24. 24, I am generous. So you have a heart of gold and you're very skilled at maintaining balanced, stable relationships. You are loyal to your loved ones and you're able to be the nurturer, protector, and provider all at once. Yeah. So you're going through a rebirth, right? And so this is just also, you know, redefining, redefining, excuse me, what loyalty is, right? For, to you, what is your definition of loyalty? And are you able to communicate that? You know, so that other people won't have to try to figure it out or read your mind and figure out like, well, what's wrong? Well, what's going on? Well, tell us what's what's this? And it just throws them out of alignment, too. I feel like you're considering the people who in your life. I feel like somebody this this rebirth, you're considering other people in your life, too. Uh, you know, um, and, and also moving forward, you're also considering other people in that life that people don't always know what's going on. They don't know if they step to the left or step, step to the left or step to the right. If they're going to say or do something that's going to set something off or cause you to just like the flame to go out, all of that sources saying, yeah, I definitely see, um, you know, someone learning how to nurture themselves so that, um, you know, so that you are planting this, like I said, 10 and 10 here, but that's what I have for you all. Um, I will see you all in the next video. And I think this is, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. I, I think this is it. I want to make sure we got everything. Did I do? Hold on for one second here. Okay. Let's one last affirmation card. So we have some Oracle cards. So one last affirmation card, Leo's one last message. Energy. There it is. Where well, you put your energy. I am full of creative ideas. That's why this water card came out. That's creativity. I am alive and well. I am bold. I am healthy and I'm happy. I nourish my body with healthy foods. I hydrate my body with adequate water. I, my purpose is here and now. Today I am blessed. Today I am blessed with an abundance of energy. That's right. That's what I have for you. And I will see you all in the next reading. Bye.